Hey, my name is Michelle Chang, and I'm from Michigan, and I was a Fulbright Schumann candidate, and I did my Fulbright in Brussels, Belgium. I decided to apply for the Fulbright Schumann because I knew previous recipients of Fulbright fellowships before, and it sounded like a really good program. And I also knew someone that had done a Fulbright fellowship at the Center for European Policy Studies, which is where I did my research. And so I knew that it would be an environment that would be quite conducive to conducting research on the European Union and European monetary integration, which is my own specialization. When I was at the Center for European Policy Studies, I was writing an article on the reform of the Stability and Growth Pact. This was several years ago during the reform of 2005. And it was quite interesting to be at SEPS because being in Brussels, in the heart of Brussels, you also regularly have high level speakers coming. And I remember, for example, we had a lunchtime talk with the Director General of um, ECOFIN here in Brussels. And so that was very interesting I learned quite a bit and I also did some interviews with people here in Brussels as well as at the European Central Bank. Things in Europe are relatively close to each other so I was able to go and do some travel. And I also looked at transatlantic relations, transatlantic monetary relations specifically, which was the official theme of my Fulbright Fellowship. I became acquainted with the College of Europe in the beginning part of my Fulbright year, actually, because I knew a professor at the college, Neil Nugent, who coincidentally had done a Fulbright Fellowship in Michigan. And he was teaching at the college, and he was teaching a general course on European policy, and he invited me to give a guest lecture on monetary policy. And so that was my introduction to the College of Europe. And also, coincidentally, the day before I was giving my talk, Jean-Claude Trichet, the president of the European Central Bank, was coming to address the college. And so it was a very exciting two days for someone like me, and it gave a wonderful impression of the college. Not just that Trichet was there, but also the quality of the student body. They are really immersed in Europe and in the European Union. And they began immediately at such a high level, the discussions and the questions that they asked. It was really impressive. And so when the position opened up a couple of months later I applied for it and I was very fortunate and I received it. I also continued my research but it just sort of bled from one into the other. I did publish the work that I'd done at the Center for European Policy Studies in a journal in the Journal of European Integration and I continued my work which I'm still doing today. I made quite a few interesting connections when I was in Brussels, and some of them I still keep in contact with, of course, at the Center for European Policy Studies. I've had former colleagues come back to the College of Europe as guests to go and give guest lectures and guest speakers, and so it was a really nice opportunity from a networking perspective. And I welcome the Fulbright the Fulbright, uh, the current Fulbright students to the College of Europe every spring when they come to Belgium and Luxembourg to do a tour. They also spend a day in Bruges and so we have a presentation on the college and I give a presentation of about one hour on European monetary integration and then we all have lunch together in the canteen. So I've met quite a few Americans that have come through and a lot of them give me business cards and sometimes I wind up keeping in touch with them later on. And I'm also still in touch with people that were in my year of the Fulbright year. I would definitely would encourage anyone that was interested in studying the European Union and transatlantic relations to apply for a Fulbright Fellowship. The program was very supportive. When I arrived in Belgium, the Fulbright office put me in touch with a former Fulbrighter that was Belgian who had gone to the United States. And we kept in touch during my Fulbright year and he even invited me to be a guest speaker in a lecture series at one of the universities here in Belgium. And that was also my first, uh, the first lecture that I ever gave in in French on, your, on the European Central Bank and central banking in general. So that was very exciting. So there are all sorts of opportunities that the Fulbright Fellowship will offer you, not only the chance to go and research, but the chance to network. And you might find yourself in a Belgian university lecturing in French for the first time.